And welcome to yet another Cosplay Yoga with Rift Wing Designs. I am so glad to see you here. And today we're going to be doing some X-Men yoga, obviously. Oh, wait. <laughs> I love the mirroring function, right? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to have some intense yoga fun. Because today I am Negasonic Teenage Warhead. And it's all about working out our core and our legs because we got to feel like we're really powerful so make sure that you have with you today some water and if you want we might need a block later on and besides that you've got your playlist down here and on the chat so it's x-men musical it can be a little crazy so if you have it on your pc uh, you can play them all in order which is the way that i set it up and if you've got it on your phone it might be random if you don't have the the paid version but either way it should work out pretty well so with that let us get started find yourself into a comfy seat if you haven't done yoga with rift wing designs before this is called designs for zen usually they're a little slower so if you're watching this on recording there are slower and more calm videos but for a couple of sessions, actually, I'm going to be doing a bit more power in the yoga. So we'll see if this is something that's more popular or less popular. But all of the other videos, again, are on YouTube. So for today, as you're finding your comfy seat, rolling your shoulders back, just start to focus on your breath. Just notice where you are. Is your breathing easy? Is it heavy or light? Maybe close your eyes, place a hand on your belly, and just notice your breath. And then begin to deepen your breath here. Bigger inhales and exhales, keeping them the same length. And as you focus on your breath, I will introduce you to Negasonic Teenage Warhead. She was born Ellie Fimister in Genosha and is a mutant and a member of X-Men and a student of Colossus. Roar! She possesses the mutant ability to detonate bursts from her body. Very flamey, very much attitude. So she's a, it's described as calm yet snarky, sarcastic, unmotivated, and antisocial, which honestly I think describes me, but she's good humored and patient. Her mutant name is definitely an indicator of how little she cares about what other people think about her and her name, Negasonic Teenage Warhead. I feel bad when she gets older. She's going to probably have to change it or else she can live in the fountain of youth that I am. So I'm going to just pretend that I'm a teenager as well, right? Definitely over 18, though. <laughs> so with her colleague Deadpool, Negasonic Teenage Warhead had a few adventures. And while Deadpool expected for her to be angry, which she didn't deny, uh, she also has a heroic personality, and that's why she's a member of the X-Men. So we're going to go through a great workout today. Now that you've gotten your breath nice and steady, we're going to start to deepen those breaths, and we're going to do a bit of a heated breath here. So on, it's going to be a bit of a rhythm. So you're going to be breathing in and out pretty fast through your nose. If you at all feel like you can't breathe well, or if you start to feel lightheaded, stop and just come back to a calm breath. But the way it's gonna work is you go through your nose, in, out, in, out, so it's like this. So I'm just really sniffing pretty fast. And we're gonna do that together for about 10 seconds. Ready? Inhale and sniff. And let it out. Next time, put your hands in your belly and try to make it even deeper and still sniffing. So one more time, inhale and sniff. And let it go. We're gonna inhale our arms up, pull them to heart center, and we're gonna set our intention for today. Today, focus on your inner power or perhaps another intention that comes to you right now. Seal it with two deep breaths. First inhale, let it go. And then your deepest inhale yet. And let it all go. 
I told you we were gonna go fast. Let's get into it. First off, arms up. To one side, twisting through the spine, keeping your sits bones down, looking back. Inhale up, exhale to the other side, twisting again, keeping the sits bones down, looking to one side, and you can go at your own pace. Again, I like to do it slow, but we're gonna go faster today. So inhale up, exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, twist. At your own pace, three more. Or if you're really slow, one more. Inhale on the reach up. Exhale as you twist. Maybe you add a little bit of a deeper twist. And now come back up to center, breathing here. Take your arms, sweep them down, place them behind your back with your fingers pointing towards your back and just roll those shoulders back. We're not gonna do full shoulder rolls together, but if you'd like, you can do those right now. Just focus on pulling the shoulder blades back and together. Maybe even grab your hands, reaching back, shining your chest forward, maybe even looking up a little bit as we're warming up those shoulders. And neck, look up just a little if it feels safe. And then exhale, let that bind go if you have it. Keep looking straight with your hands down. And then we're gonna do a couple neck rolls, just side to side today. Again, if you need to do more with your neck, go right ahead. And now that you've done your neck rolls, come back to center and look side to side. Remember to breathe here, just warming up your neck. And now freestyle, whatever else you need, just to make sure your neck and your shoulders and your spine are warmed up. So maybe you do some more shoulder rolls, maybe you do a little bit of wibbling like me, because you know I love to do these. Arms up, exhale down. This time plant your hands by your sides and we're gonna straighten out your legs. So if you need to sit on a cushion or a bolster or a pillow or a block, do that. We're doing wide-legged stretches because we're gonna use our legs a lot here. So inhale up. Exhale, just keep your spine straight, placing your hands on your legs where it's comfortable. If you want here and you have a strap, we're gonna be doing both single legs and together. So find what works for you. Again, we have those strap workshop on my YouTube. So starting here, you're just sitting straight, shoulders back again. And then you're gonna rotate your torso to one leg. So you're facing up your torso here. And if this is enough, you can do that here, keeping your hands up or maybe goalpost arms. So you're twisting and facing over. Or if it's comfortable, again, start to fold over, keeping that spine straight. Notice I'm not that flexible. So again, do what works for you. You can put on your leg if you want, or you can use that strap on your foot just to hold yourself and get that stretch. And actually, I'll, I'll show you. So you've got your strap, you just put it around your foot. Don't pull your foot too much. This is really just keeping your spine straight and your leg long. Breathing here. And maybe you start to curl that back just a little bit to keep warming up your spine. And then inhale up, let that go. Come back to center, noticing how your torso feels here. Okay, then hands up on an inhale. Exhale, plant your hands in front of you, keeping your spine straight. Inch forward a little bit. You can bend your arms again here, but you're not doing a full fold, just starting to feel that fold. Keeping a straight spine and breathing. And from here, straighten all the way back up, sitting straight. Then we're gonna twist your torso towards the other leg. So you're facing forward, you can stay here. Arms up, those goalpost arms. Or you can start to again, fold with a straight spine. Maybe again, using that strap. The strap can be a tie, a belt, a t-shirt, a towel. Or as we discovered in our last session, a glove when I was doing Luna yoga. Breathe here, keeping that spine straight for two more breaths. And then maybe invite a gentle bend into your back and tuck your chin, feeling the stretch here. Two more breaths. And wherever you are, start to find your way back up, then twist your torso center, and now find your own forward fold. So if you want your feet together, you can do that. You can do wide-legged where we are here, just walking your hands forward. If this doesn't work, you can do a diamond where your feet are together and you can forward fold here. Or again, if you really want to, just stick your feet straight out and do it over both legs. Wherever you are, find your personal fold that talks to you. And we're gonna be here for about 30 seconds. Remember to breathe, focus on your intention. 
find that strength within. And in your forward fold, again, maybe nod your head back and forth. Just let that neck get a little looser. One more deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. And we're gonna do an around the mat. So come back up to seated. Do any other stretches that you need. I'm gonna just windshield wiper my legs a little bit here. So we're gonna go around the mat. We're gonna do a warrior flow. <laughs> because obviously X-Men are the best warriors. So find your way into your down dog. If you wanna go through tabletop and do a couple of cat cows here, Maybe just warm up your spine, find what you need today, just to get yourself into that first down dog of the session. And when you're going into your dog, you're planting your hands and making sure that the weight is evenly distributed across your fingers and the heel of your hand, tucking your toes under. And then you're gonna just kick back and push your hips into the sky. Keep a nice bend in your knees. And then push back, shining your chest down and almost looking back towards your feet here and pedal your legs. Let's actually take big pedals. Breathing as you're moving your, your knees, your hips, your ankles. Feel the weight distributed between your toes and your hands. And wherever you are, remember to breathe. If this isn't available for you, you can stay in your tabletop, you can stay seated, or you can find yourself into child's pose. And come to stillness now. Let's do a little warm up with our legs upside down. So we're gonna be lifting each leg again in whatever pose you're in. Inhale, right leg up, really shine it back. Kick that heel, flex those toes in and breathe. Just hold it here, feel the power starting to build. Maybe do deeper breaths, breathing out through your nose to build heat. Then bend your knee, try to kick your butt. <laughs> Even though we kick butt as X-Men, right? And then straighten back out, tuck your knee in, maybe even going forward into a plank, pushing it back. This is all about strength. And if you need a break, go right ahead. You do what works for you. One more time, kick it in and then back out. First, lifting that foot back up, flexing your heels and toe. Just breathing here, noticing how different it feels. Keeping a bend in that standing leg and then bend your knee, trying to kick your butt. All right, from here, straight back out. Breathing and then tuck your knee in. Maybe coming forward to that plank again on this side. Then back out. Breathe and on an exhale, come in, hold and then push it back and try to more gracefully dismount, planting your foot here. And maybe you need to go back into child's pose or maybe you stay here and just breathe. From here, you can step up, jump, walk forward, however you want. Generally, the first one, it's good just to walk forward. We're gonna do a forward fold here. Just exhale, let it go. And as we're getting ready to go through this, remember, keep a nice bend in your knees. Maybe finding a block. If you have a block handy, we're going to use it as we do these warrior flows. Notice how it allows you to let go more with your feet and your legs. And come to stillness. Keep that block near the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then inhale all the way up. And exhale, fold. We're gonna step back into our down dog. You can go through a flow here if you want. And then we're gonna inhale, right leg up, stepping through, using that tuck again to pull your knee and bring your foot as close to your hand as you can. Again, it's okay to scooch. We're gonna go into our warrior one. So plant your back foot, 45 degree angle, and then use your abs to scoop up as you start to stand. Holding that warrior one and breathing here. 
right foot forward, back foot 45 degree angle, and you can widen that stance to help your balance. Arms are up, or if you want, you can do those goal posts again. It helps you feel strong. Okay. From here. This is warrior one. We're going to swing the left arm back and open up. So your back foot might need to adjust a little bit. Front knee stays bent. Looking over your front fingers here. Chest, remember how we did those opening the spine on the ground? That'll help you here. So look towards the front fingers, breathe. Feel the stretch across your legs and groin. Again, no pain, breathing. And then look towards your back fingers. Notice how the balance is. Maybe you need to adjust it. And look back forward, holding here. Warrior two. Then you're gonna plant your hand either on your side or behind your back. We're going in humble warrior here. So you're flipping your front hand and just looking back to the best of your ability to where you feel comfortable. Reverse warrior. Breathing here. And then you're gonna swing your arms up, coming back through warrior two. And we're gonna go into your side angle. So for your side angle, you're planting your front arm on your knee and your leg here. And your back arm's gonna swoop forward, reaching over, and you're gonna hold here. Remember to breathe. And if you want from here, you can take that block and we're gonna be doing a couple of opening things. So first planting your hand on that block or on the ground or just staying where you are. We're gonna first open up our chest. Just breathe here. You can look up at your arm or you can look down, whatever feels good for your neck and just feel that opening. And then we're gonna go into a lizard pose. So for here, take your arm down Rotate your chest forward and then so your hips and your legs and your body are all parallel forward. You're going to lower that back knee down. And then you can stay here. This is a good modified lizard. Or you can find a height or maybe use the ground and you're just going to lean forward over that leg. For me, I like to go down here and you can scoot your leg back, open up your legs, find that lizard that works for you. And breathe. I said it'd be pretty intense on the legs. Find what's comfortable for you. Three more breaths. Feel the strength in you. And then slowly start to come up. Again, use those blocks. We're going to walk back. And just do a little bit of a leg stretch here. So again, using the blocks to hold you up if you need to. We're just going to hold here. Find what works for you. Just to stretch out your leg in the other direction. A nice counter pose. And maybe you rock back and forth. Or maybe you just stay there. And wherever you are. Remember I said we're going to do around the mat. So here's the fun stuff. Tuck your toe under. And lift. Then you're going to use your hands and kind of walk yourself into a wide-legged forward fold. And just let yourself hang here and notice the difference in that fold with your legs wide. Maybe you're holding your ankles here. Maybe your hands are on the block or the floor. Remember to keep a little bend in your knees. And wherever you are, we're gonna try a halfway lift here. Use your core, holding that half lift and fold. And then again, use your core here and try to lift yourself up into your wide-legged stance. Then take your arms up above you, shine them open. We're going into goddess pose. So from here, you've got your arms in your goal pose positions. Start to invite a bend into your legs and go with low as is comfortable for you. I like to get into almost a seated squat, but everybody's squat is different. Keep those shoulders back, chin up, breathe, feel the burn. And if you were with me for the cosplay and yogi's yoga challenge in which I was Negasonic, you may have noticed that our spider ballet Gwen did a ballet version. So if you want additional challenge, try and go on your tippy toes. 
and hold. <laughs> Breathe, feel the burn. Maybe even try and fold. <laughs> and back up. And let those ankles down and forward fold. Breathe. Good work, you guys. Whew. We're going to go to the other side. So if you need a drink break, do it now. So around the mat, we're going to start to walk our hands to the other side into a warrior one on this side. So now your left leg is forward. Your right foot is back, 45 degree angle. Hands are down, or again, you're using that block to help you in your little lunge before you step up into your warrior one. Shoulders back, arms up, or maybe again, those goal post arms. Breathing here. Noticing how different it feels on this side. Warrior one. From here, we're gonna open up. So we're taking our back arm towards the back, front arm facing forward, bend in the front knee, maybe adjusting that width again, looking through your front fingers, and then look to your back fingers just to notice where they are. Maybe shrug the shoulders back a little, and then look forward again, holding here. Warrior two. Notice on this side the feeling of the stretch in your legs and groin. No pain. If there's pain, please adjust. Hold here for one more breath. And then we're going into a reverse warrior. So put that back arm down on your leg or behind your back. Flip your front arm, lifting up, doing a little back bend to where it's comfortable for you. And your reverse warrior. Remember to keep that front knee bent and breathe. And then we're going into our extended angle. So first go through your warrior two for a breath. Then your front arm comes down onto your front knee. You're sweeping your back arm forward and out. And you're staying here for a couple breaths. Extended side angle. And you can stay here or you can open up. Arm goes up, looking up or down. And again, this is the point where you can use your block, put your hand on the floor. Find your extended angle that you're doing the twist. Twist. And then roll yourself back out. So now your hands are on the inside of your foot and you're finding a place to get into your lizard. So you're rotating your hips and body forward so everything is parallel. Drop your back knee. And if this is all you can do, that's perfect. And if you wanna go deeper, again, you start to bend forward. Find the modification that works for you, hands down. Or like I like to do is just get into a nice deep one and it's totally okay to shuffle your legs and find that place of comfort and ease with no pain. Finding your lizard. Breathe. And wherever you are, start to find your way back up using your blocks or aid as you need. And this time we've finished our mat from side to side. So you are actually facing the back side of your mat, which is totally fine. We're gonna tuck those toes under, plant your hands, and we're gonna go into down dog. So if you wanna do a flow here, feel free. For me, I'm just gonna lift up my knee and then sweep my foot back. And notice we're here, left leg up, in your down dog. Maybe give it a little wiggle, feel some balance, and then go down into your dog. Staying here for a few breaths or you're welcome to do child's pose here. All right. If you're in child's pose, take another breath. And now we have to get back to the front side of our mat somehow. So guess what we're gonna do? Inhale into your dog if you weren't there already. Step, hop, or jump to the front of your mat or walk. <laughs> get that forward fold again. Just hang in your forward fold and breathe. Notice how different it feels after doing those crazy leg warrior flows. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Tabletop back, nice and flat. Keeping a little bend in your knees. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Two breaths here. Shoulders back. And then exhale. What well, from here? Take your hands down. Like we did before, seated, grab your hands behind your back to shine your chest forward. And we're going to cheat here and just rotate 90 degrees. So you're facing the middle of your mat with your hands bound behind you. Breathe here. And as you're comfortable, start to get a wide-legged stance. We're going to do a bound forward fold. And if this doesn't feel good, you can let go of your hands at any time or use a strap. But keeping those legs with a little bend in them. Start to fold forward, keep on the bind, focusing on your chest and your abs. And you'll notice at a certain point, your arms may actually serve as a counter to give you a deeper stretch. So let your head go, let your back and chest go, and let those arms push just a little further. Remember not to lock your knees and breathe. And again, if you need to let go, let go. You could bless them in life no matter where you are. And if you had that bind, gently release it. Let those hands dangle. Notice how your shoulders feel. And we're going to plant your hands here. Or maybe, again, use that block. Then inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, fold with the wide legs. And then inhale, lift yourself up with those abs. You got this. Inhale, inhale. All the way to standing. And we're not done yet. We're going to do a couple of ninja lunges. So from here, we're going into goddess again, hands up, then pull the shoulders back and down, bending your knees, going into your squat. This time, take your hands to heart center. So modified goddess with hands in prayer. And we're going to do some side to side, what I call ninja lunges. So what it is, is you start to shift your weight from side to side. And if this is all you can do, that's fine. Notice how your legs and groin feel after all that stretching. And if you want to sink deeper or just stay to one side, you can do that. And then go to the other side. And if you're really powerful, maybe, maybe you can do back and forth as a really quick kind of movement. But again, this is not good for everyone. So find your own yoga bends and notice if it gets deeper keep that chest up there you go Whew. and you can always use your hands to walk here don't think you have to stay in prayer remember you find you, what works for you notice how cool this is like those crazy x-men landings where you're like whoa, whoa. right do that whoa. 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 all right that's kind of fun <laughs> But we're starting to cool down here. So come back to center. Forward fold. You did great work. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And we're going to inhale all the way up. Use that abs one more time. Go, 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 go. Whew. And then heel toe your feet together. Shake those legs out. Get a drink. Whew. I wasn't kidding, man. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a balance pose, and then we're going to start to cool down. From here, you can find whatever balance pose works for you. Because we've been doing our legs, we're going to do a half moon pose, but feel free to do a tree. So for half moon, it's like sit up in your warrior one. So your hips and your chest are parallel, arms are up. And then we're going to exhale, fold, plant your hands. And this is where the block, again, it can be super helpful. I really should have said you <laughs> need a block at the beginning. Uh, again, you can use paper towel rolls, cans, books. We have a whole workshop, again, on YouTube. So wherever you are, facing forward, your hand goes on the block. And from here, just start to float forward and feel your balance. Trying to find strength in your front foot. And for half moon, I believe it's half moon, you open up and straighten your hips. 
lifting that foot. Hand come in your hip or up. If you keep your hips forward, that's a different balance, but that's still totally okay. So for this one, my hips are facing forward, my hands are down. For the other one, which you should not really go from one to the other, please don't, it's not as good for your hips. But the other one that I'm in here, my hips are facing up and down. So you can be in this one, or you can be in this one. And if you're here, maybe you can lift your arms in front of you, look like you're flying, right? Or you're three. Finding that balance. So half moon or warrior three. And wherever you are, find yourself back to the ground. Whew. Shake it out. I really hope that the actual super suits have some kind of cooling because this is intense. It's like firefighters with those really heavy uniforms, you know? Being a hero is hard work and it is hot too. All right, other side. You just switch. Actually, that's what I'll do. I'll just switch hands and legs. So for here, again, find your way into warrior on the other side. So I've got my left foot forward, shoulders up and back. And again, find your warrior three, your half moon. Um, so you're putting your hands for your warrior and just starting to float your foot back like this. And if this is all you can do, that's perfect. No problem. That's your warrior three. And then for the other side, for your half moon, again, you're, you're actually opening up kind of almost from a lunge and opening your hips. So this is half moon, where your hips are opening up, your toes are forward, and you're looking down. Definitely not my strength, so I'll stick with my warrior three. Keeping that standing knee bent, Maybe moving your arms, trying your superhero fly. Ooh. Wherever you are. One more breath. And down. Oh, that's it. We deserve to get on the ground now, huh? Take another drink if you need it. Nice work, everyone. Find your way to the ground. Ooh. What time is it? <laughs> I'm like, oh man, we still have time, you guys. Yeah, I said we were gonna do a couple more intense workouts. So here we are. We're gonna start with love knot. So love knot, you may again wanna sit on a blanket to give you some cushion if your sits bones are bony like mine. You can just sit like this, this is good. So your feet are up, spine is straight can stay here or you can start to try and balance on those sits bones and hug your knees in. So you're holding balance as you see me shaking. You're balancing on your sits bones and your feet are flying. This is love knot. You can also then tuck your head and give yourself a big hug. And wherever you are, we're gonna go into boat. Boat's a power move. So just go through a nice relaxed seat for a moment. From here, we're lowering back with your hands up. And if all you do is lower onto your back, that's fine. For boat, you're lifting your legs using that same motion from the love knot. And if you're here, that's great. If your hands are down, that's fine too. Notice how big it is on your abs. Woo! Then you can try and straighten your legs. Straighten your arms. Lift your arms. Oh my goodness. Or do some sit-ups, which are intense. Wherever you are, slowly, slowly, slow motion start to go down. Holding it, squeezing everything tight, using your core until... Whew, a well-deserved lay on the floor. <laughs> that is all the tough stuff, I promise. Ugh. Oh, okay. Let's just stay here, right? No, we got to keep cooling down. We got to treat our body right. Remember, drink a lot of water after this, everyone, okay? No joke. <laughs> you need to hydrate. 
So we're going to take one leg in, we'll hug that knee. Just give it a good stretch. Maybe use your hands to guide it around. Notice how it feels after all that intense power from your legs. Like you're getting ready to launch into the sky. And then hug it in tight. Roll your ankle one way and then the other. Thanking your feet for helping out today. And then use your hand to guide it over, doing a twist to one side. Keep your shoulders flat on the ground. Maybe look to the other side. Breathing here. And again, maybe you have a pillow or a block underneath your knee. So you can find some ease in this twist. And then open up because we've got some extra time now. We're going to take that knee across and open. Maybe you even use a strap here or a pillow. Again, only doing what feels comfortable for you, but just open that knee to the other side, guiding with your hand and breathing. Maybe looking the opposite way. And wherever you are, pull that knee back in. Giving yourself a hug with both knees in. And then let that leg go and hug in the other knee. <sighs> Maybe again, using one hand just to guide it around on this side. Noticing the differences, seeing what you need to stretch out, thanking your hips and leg for that tough workout. And then pull your knee in and let that ankle roll in both directions, thanking it for helping with your balance and standing poses. And then start to guide your knee across the body keeping your shoulders down as you do a twist in your spine. Again, finding a block or a pillow for your knee if you need it. Wherever you are, finding ease, maybe looking the opposite direction, breathing. And then start to open up, rolling back, and then guide your knee to the other side. Again, maybe finding that block or pillow or using a strap if you need to, just to open your hips in the other direction. Oof, mine just popped. <laughs> and maybe looking the other way. And breathe. And then start to pull that knee in. Bring both knees up, giving them a hug. And now use your hands on your knees to do circles with both knees. Maybe you, you can do it on your own with just your abs, but wherever you are, do circles in both directions, just noticing how it feels to guide those knees and hips together. Notice how it can massage your back and spine even, your lower back and those sits bones that we just were using. Going at your speed, making sure to circle in both directions. And then come to stillness. Give yourself one big hug, tucking your head in. Oh, and then plant your feet. We're going to get ready for a set of bridges. So putting your feet down. Um, near your bottom, so your fingers should just be able to brush your heels. Shoulders are back, hands and palms are pressing down. And just start to lift your hips and just notice how it feels when you start to lift your hips. Just a baby lift, just a little. Notice what happens when there's a little gap between your hips and the ground. Do a few of those. Slowly rocking your pelvic floor. 
Getting ready to go into your bridge. If you're with me, we're gonna plant our hands down and then press with your shoulders, hands, feet, and lift into your bridge. Finding the bridge that works for you as high or low as you need, breathing. Picturing the bridge, letting all your thoughts flow away like water passing under. And then exhale, let it down. We're gonna do three. So find your area of calm. Then plant again, exhale, lift. Focusing on the points that touch the ground. This time focus on your legs. Seeing if you can get your thighs to squeeze closer together. Using your core and spiraling those legs in to hold you up. Then exhale, go down. If you have wheel in your practice, you can do that here. Or you can just find another bridge. Wherever you are, pressing into the ground. If you're in wheel, remember to tuck that chin as you lift up. Spiraling those legs in, pressing down, staying strong, breathing here for four, three, two, one. And tuck your chin and lower down. And notice how different your body feels as you stay here on the floor after allowing all of your hips to do that hard work. Two more breaths here. We're gonna go into butterfly now, because again, we've done a lot with our hips and legs. So you're gonna put your feet together and just let your legs fall open. Again, if you wanna block on the other side, that's fine. The further out your feet go, the easier your butterfly might be, or you may want your feet in closer. Oh, wherever you are, you want your hips to form that diamond shape, allowing everything to just let go. And if it feels better, you can just do a wide-legged lay down <laughs> if that feels better find what works for you and for me i'm going to take my arms up and goal post my arms here just like we did standing noticing how it feels to have the ground touching your shoulders and back feeling the hips wide open noticing any areas that are tight that are shaky and if you'd like to, you can make your hands into a diamond. Just opening the chest even further, stretching out and down. Breathing here. And you can stay in this pose for the next 10 minutes or so if you want a diamond savasana. We're going to do two more poses. We're gonna do legs up the wall, and then we're gonna go into our savasana. But if you like this one, like I would stay here, honestly. <laughs> I planned this one on purpose. If you wanna stay here, stay here by all means. If you're with me, take your hands down, stretch your legs out. Maybe do like a little windshield washing again, just shaking out any last tightness. And we're gonna go through our legs on the wall. So if you have a clear bit of wall or if you have a chair, you can put your legs up on the chair or a couch, something that doesn't roll away from you. To get started and legs up the wall, you kind of scooch next to the wall and then you rotate your body. <laughs> it's not an easy way to get into it. And then you just get there where your legs are literally up with the wall. And find what works for you here. Try a lot of different leg positions. So because we did so much, you may actually want to plant your feet and just stay here. It's a little bit more relaxing for me. You may want your feet just flat up, maybe a wide legged legs up the wall this time. We haven't really done those a lot, but maybe because we've had so much time to loosen up, 
If you let go in your legs and in your lower back, this could feel amazing. If the ground is too harsh here, remember to put a blanket underneath you. And if this doesn't work for you, guess what? You could do a diamond up the wall. There are so many options. So start to find what feels good for you. We're gonna stay here for a few minutes. So just find where it works for you. And then start to play with your arms. You can do that T, the power T. You can do a diamond. You can do uh, goalpost arms. Wherever you are, let those body parts start to relax. Notice if those muscles are shaking. Use your breaths to start to bring in final cleansing relaxation. And every inhale, bring in light and relaxation. And the exhales, focus on letting go of any tightness or pain. Letting go anywhere that's still not completely relaxed. Inhale light and exhale dark. Finding your rhythm, finding your peace. Maybe come back to your intention. We'll be here for another minute. And again, you can stay here just like you could stay in that diamond. If it talks to you, stay right here. Whether you're in your diamond or legs up the wall, this might be a time to invite that figure four. So taking one leg at a time and just crossing it over. If you're on the ground in that diamond, maybe you take your knees up, plant your feet by your bum again, and just cross one leg over. Just noticing how it feels. And if you're with me on the wall, try that four up the wall. Maybe even hugging that knee and keeping that ankle, just noticing if that helps your lower back at all. And if it doesn't, don't do it. Breathe deeply here again, letting go of any last tightness and then go to the other side and cross that leg over. Finding your figure four on the other side, if that's what you'd like to do. Again, maybe hugging it in, finding a position that works for you. Wherever you are, finding your four on the other side. One more breath. And again, stay where you are if that's what you want. Or if you're with me, we're going to go into Savasana. So find a way to fall safely off the wall. Roll over and find your way down onto your mat. Again, if you need blankets, you're going to be cooling down a lot after that really, really hot workout. Find your way onto your back. If you are choosing to go into a full Savasana, Shoulders back and down, legs and arms wide, wider than your mat. Your arms could be with your palms up to receive energy or down to ground. Move your body parts, your heels, your legs, maybe shake them out one more time. Adjust the fleshy parts of your behind, maybe making sure that they're really allowing your sits bones to sink in here. Shoulders are back and down, head touching whether that's the pillow or the ground, 
and this time nod your head back and forth one more time just letting go of any last tension in your neck oh yeah one more time wherever you are start to find stillness in that last pose As we go through our final savasana, we're going to do a tightening exercise just to let go again. Let go of any last tension. Starting with your toes, scrunch them in really tight and then let them go. And then scrunch your ankles and heels and toes really tight and let it go. This time pulling your legs, kneecaps, toes all tight in the lower part of your body. Hold it in, hold, 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 and let it go. Breathe, and now we're gonna go into your hips. So your legs, feet, hips, tighten everything. Your bottom, go, go, tighten it up, and let it go. This time, balling your fists as you tighten everything else again. Tight, 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 hold it in, hold it in, and let it go. This time, your feet, knees, hips, hands, and arms, press them into the ground, pull them in really tight, and let it go. This time, everything from your neck down, tighten it up, squeeze, and let go. And this time, include your head, scrunching your face, your eyebrows, push your head down, push your shoulders down, push your legs down, tight, 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 and exhale. Oh, if you need any other movements here, do them now. Let everything go. Maybe wiggle those fingers and toes, letting go of any last tightness. Again, maybe adjusting your flesh, shoulders down, let go. Let your tongue go away from the roof of your mouth. Relax your jaw. Relax that tight space between your eyes. And relax your forehead. Find your peace, and I'll let you have an extended savasana. Let any thoughts that come by just drift away, or come back to your breath, or your intention. And I'll call you back out in a few minutes.
You are welcome to stay where you are for as long as you need. And if you're with me, start to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Start to invite gentle movements into your limbs. Maybe on an inhale, go into a big body stretch. Noticing your body after that nice hard workout. And then when you're ready, you can roll over onto one side and stay there for a few moments. Savoring that in between of a fetal pose before going back into the world. To wrap up, a quote from X-Men, The Last Stand. We live in an age of darkness, a world full of fear, hate, and intolerance. But in every age, there are those who fight against it. We are in such an age. Remember to be yourself, just like Negasonic Teenage Warhead, and stand up for those that need help. Stand up for those who are oppressed. Fight for equality. Fight for respect. Everyone deserves it, including you. Start to find your way back into an easy seat with your eyes closed or maybe a gentle gaze. Rolling back your shoulders and finding that easy seat. And from there, we're gonna inhale, arms up. Exhale, taking your hands and palms together, drawing those hands down into your chest. Come back to your intention one last time. Deciding if you're going to hold that throughout the rest of your day or if you'd like to change to a new one as you move forward. We're going to close as we began with two breaths to seal that intention. So inhale in. Exhale it out. And the biggest breath yet in. And let it all go. Raise your thumbs to your forehead, your mind's eye, the center of intuition and knowledge. The light, the love, and the teacher in me honors and thanks the light, the love, and the teacher in all of you. Thank you for being here today for X-Men Yoga, and enjoy the rest of your weekend or the week ahead. Namaste. Thank you all again for being here. I am Riffwing Designs, and this is our monthly yoga session. We're going to be having a few more interesting yoga sessions going forward into April, if you can believe it. We have a surprise smooth stream on the 10th, in which I'm going to be doing some really fun, again, a little bit more intense cardio slash yoga. So please stay tuned for smooth stream. Watch my feed, and you'll see all about it, as well as Forward Progress, who's been doing a great job at Keep Friend Magic, Keep Friend Magic. And we will be posting again, I am Riffwing Designs everywhere. And there may be a furry convention at the end of the month where I normally have been doing the cosplay yoga with a theme. I think that we're gonna be providing yoga at Furthermore. And I'll have more details on that on my social media. So keep an eye out for it. And until then, remember to watch my videos on YouTube, follow me here, give me a like, give me a follow, give me a subscribe, whatever it is you'd like to do. I thank you for being here once again, and I look forward to the next time that we can share our practices. So go in peace. Thank you all and take care.